If you're suffering with trigger thumb and you're like, what can I do to avoid having injection and surgery? Well, I'm gonna share with you the main splints, right? The main braces that you can wear for your thumb to reduce the pain and also get rid of trigger thumb so that you don't have to have injections and surgeries. My name is Huang. I'm an occupational therapist and certified hand therapist here at Hands On Therapy Services. I've been getting a ton of trigger thumb cases or actually just thumb pain in general. And I wanted to share with you because some of the people who are coming and talking to us, they're going on YouTube, they're going on Google, and they're looking and saying, what can I do to help myself? And what I'm finding is they're wearing the wrong splints. And if you're wearing the wrong splints, you're not going to be able to fix this trigger thumb and actually get it better. Um, so I just want to share as a hand therapist what we do. Now, if you look on Google, you're gonna see that they are very generic. Hey, okay, if it gets bad, you just need injection and surgery, but not everyone wants injections and wants surgery. And sometimes, usually when it comes to surgery, you have to wait for it to be so bad before you're a candidate for have, to have surgery. So usually the first step of defense is therapy, um, injections, and then a surgery, right? So, but you don't have to wait until it's so bad. You can actually do things to fix yourself. So one, you're not suffering for months and years, right? And one of the ways to do that is actually wearing a splint. Now, when it comes to trigger thumbs, um, the tendon that causes trigger thumb starts here in the forearm, crosses your wrist, and then it crosses this joint right here, it's your CMC joint, it crosses your MP joint, this is your big knuckle, and then it attaches right here at the distal end, right, at the tip of your thumb, and it bends your little knuckle right here. It's called your IP knuckle, right? So because it bends all the way down, it's usually when you bend it all the way down that that tendon starts to catch and trigger right here at this crease. And it hurts like crazy. Um, so one of the things that we recommend is I always like to look to see where it's triggering. So I'll either use a splint. Like we normally make a custom fitted um, they're called custom fitted orthoses. So it will block just this knuckle, just this knuckle right here, um, so that this knuckle doesn't move. So if you if you hold this here and you and you hold it and it doesn't click, then we can block this knuckle and then you'll be fine. And you want to wear that all the time for like until it goes away, right? Here's the kicker: a lot of times people don't wear it all the time, and so then it doesn't help right? So you want to wear it paired with therapy, paired with the right type of therapy. You can make your trigger of thumb go away completely and not even worry about injection and surgery and not worry about having pain and thinking you have arthritis and need surgery at some point in your future, okay? But this splint, it's just a small thumb one. Um, I'm going to see if I can find them on Google and, and link it to my Amazon store, but I'm not really sure. The other thing is, um, if it's still triggering, then the problem is actually up here. So you want to block this thumb, this joint from moving. Um, a really inexpensive way to figure out whether that works or not. I'm looking around to see if I have my tape here. But I just get a little bit of tape. Um, you can use paper tape, transport tape, scotch tape, whatever tape. You just tape this tip right here. And then when you try to move your thumb, it doesn't it doesn't click, right? It's less painful. That's when you know you're on the right track, right? If you can go and find yourself an occupational therapist or certified hand therapist, they'll help create a custom fitted splint for you that will actually fit your needs. And then also, if you want, get them to teach you what you need to do in the order which you need to do it so you can get rid of the trigger thumb, okay? But you can, um, if you're just looking to order something online, look for something that's gonna block the IP or block the MP. You do not want to wear a wrist support splint. Now, this is what I'm seeing a ton. People are coming and they're like, I need it to stop hurting, so I'm going to go to the drugstore and buy something. And the most common thing that you see in the drugstore is um, a wrist support, because it stops the wrist from moving. Guess what, even though that tendon crosses the wrist and you would think, oh, if I stop the wrist from hurting, it will stop the thumb from hurting, it doesn't. It doesn't because that's not where the problem is. The problem is not here at the wrist. The problem is up here at potentially these two joints. And if you wear a wrist splint with the thumb free, you're just irritating the shit out of it. So 
please no risk support splint, okay? Now, if you're going to order something online, you buy something for the thumb. The thumb's got to stop from moving. Um, the most common one I've seen, they're called thumb spikas, and you can order them online. They come all the way across your thumb and across your wrist, and they stop everything from moving. Now, I don't recommend stopping everything from moving, but if that's your only option, that thumb spica is better than a wrist support splint. Don't wear it too long. You're going to mess up the rest of your hand or the rest of your thumb and make your process of getting rid of trigger thumb worse. This is what I've seen, this is my experience. I've been able to help people get rid of their trigger thumb no matter how bad um, without injections and surgery. So um, so I, I don't wanna toot my own horn, but I know something about splints. So please, I hope this video helps you and helps you to get into the right type of brace or splint that will help you get rid of your trigger thumb. I almost forgot. You could wear a, a glove potentially. I had someone bring in one of those like thumb wraps. As long as it stops your thumb from moving all the way, it could help, right? Um, so there is a balance. It's like if you wear something but you're allowed to move all over the place, then it's not gonna help you, right? But if it stops you from moving at all, everything, then it's on the other extreme and that won't help you either. So I hope this video helps to give you some certainty, some clarity in terms of what kind of splints or braces that you could use if you're trying to fix it yourself. Do I recommend you going to an occupational therapist or certified hand therapist? Yes, but um, if you're not yet convinced, try it at your own and if it still keeps hurting within a week or two and it's not really helpful or it's not going away completely, um, you'll do yourself a great service when you find someone to help you get rid of the trigger thumb uh, because the thumb does 50% of the work of your hand can't pick things up these two fingers and your thumb do all the little stuff for you and then your thumb and these two fingers your small finger and ring finger it's what gives you strength in your hand so the thumb does 50% of the work of your hand and when your thumb hurts it like it's extremely debilitating right uh, it makes you feel old it makes you feel sad it makes you feel depressed because you can really like you can't do anything so, um, so yeah, just go get help. It's available out there for you. My name is Huang. I'm an occupational therapist and certified hand therapist. And if you're in the Miami area and you need help, uh, we're here to help you at Hands-On Therapy Services. Until next time.